The biggest survey of the state of the countryside for more than 40 years paints a gloomy picture of rural life. The spirit of community that once held so many villages together is under severe strain. One of the biggest problems is rising crime and vandalism. This is the traditional image of the Women's Institute, today serving teas at the Royal Agricultural Show in Warwickshire. But there's far more to the UK's biggest women's organisation. It's just carried out one of the largest ever surveys into rural life. What's happened to nearby Mollington is typical of what they found elsewhere. The village school closed two years ago. The post office is gone. This private house used to be the shop, until ten years ago, a focal point of village life. People used to like to come and have a chat. Um, I suppose people met up at the, the post office, the village shop, the school, and now there isn't anything. There's no bus in the village. Those who've lived here all their lives rely on lifts to nearby towns to get their pensions and shop. The children are bused to school elsewhere. Later, most will leave to find work or a livelier social life. Many young families find house prices at upwards of £100,000 too high. The WI wants this to change. With low-cost housing would make life much easier for people coming into the village and would regenerate life of the village. Hopefully the village school could be reopened, but also needing public transport. The survey found fewer village policemen and increasing crime. Experts in rural studies say the government should take a lead in changing village life. Uh, the importance of the state being involved is that you can try to maintain some sort of national standard in education, in healthcare, delivery and whatever. One of the dangers is if, it, if, it, if it's all left to local communities, then you get, as it were, peaks and troughs in provision. The real message from today's report is that while there's plenty of development in the countryside, it's not the type of development that will either stimulate village life or help people in rural areas who are on lower incomes. Margaret Gilmore, BBC News.